There are allegations out there that the child was locked in the closet, and that's totally untrue. A local school board now talking about what happened when a parent said a teacher locked her child in a closet. The child was found in a closet. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. The local school board investigated. Now the State Department of Education reviewing that case. CBS 42 reporter James McConathan spoke, spoke with the child's mother today. He's in our newsroom this evening with more of the story. James. Well, Jim, this mother told me her son was left unsupervised for almost two hours, and she said she didn't find out about it until the school day was over. I was notified by the school's principal that my son had been left in a closet and that he missed lunch and another teacher found him. Holly Bell's son Elijah is a second grader at McAdory Elementary School. She said the teacher caught him looking on someone else's work during an assignment and isolated him to have him do the assignment again. And that corridor often in the past has been used for a, a quiet place for students to do their work or time out space between the two classrooms. Bell said and Dr. Pouncey confirmed Elijah was left there while his class went to lunch and PE. Was it a situation where the teacher forgot that the student was in there? Yes, okay. totally. My son's life was in danger. I don't care whether they call it a pass through a hallway. It's a trailer, so it's not a hallway. The teacher was suspended for two days without pay, but has since returned to the classroom. Dr. Pouncey said the incident was out of character for the teacher. This teacher actually is the most requested second grade teacher at McAdory Elementary School. She's also been voted by her peers as what we classify as a second mile teacher. In other words, somebody that always goes above and beyond. But Elijah's mother said the mistake is unacceptable. If he went to school and told his teacher that I put him in a closet at home, DHR would have been on my doorstep. Since the incident, teachers have been instructed not to put students in that walkthrough for any reason. Live in the newsroom, James McConaughey, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.